everyone and welcome back on my channel. Today I just thought I would show you what our apartment looks like because often what I personally see on YouTube is people who have homes that looks nice and pristine and honestly it looks like they have a lot of money to buy expensive things and me and my boyfriend we do not have that kind of money so we do not have like really expensive things anything like that so I just thought I would show you what a normal home looks like for people who do not have a lot of money I just thought that might be refreshing to see for some people so I'm going to jump right into showing you what our home looks like so if we start out here this is our entryway to the apartment, just where we have our keys and jackets and shoes and so on. And down here I just have some things that are going up to the in-law because we're going up to the in-laws this weekend. So these two things down, down here is for them, just to remember to take it with me. So that is for them because we're going to the in-laws this weekend. So this is kind of just our entryway so it's a narrow entryway but it's actually pretty long I think and then over here we just have this poster I just think it's really great don't be so hard on yourself and I just love this tiny shelf where we have our keys and wallets and whatever you need before we go out of the door and I don't know if you know but in Denmark we have this sunflower program for everyone that has like an invisible disability like a mental health um, diagnosis they can use this just to show people that they have something to fight with so people better can understand them if they have an anxiety attack or something like that out in public I just think it's a good thing to have if I have an anxiety attack or just have a really hard time when I'm outside because some people can see, okay, she has something to fight with, she's not just weird or rude in any kind of way, she just has her things to fight with. So I just think that's really great, just got that. So yeah, keys and wallets and some other things like a bag when we go out grocery shopping and all that. And then here is the door to the outside. So the main door, you can say. And right beside here, we have our toilet. We have our teeny tiny toilet so I can just show you so it's it's really a small bathroom that we have it's really not that big it's it's a really really small bathroom that we have so this is just yeah our bathroom as you can see so it's really really small and narrow so a bigger person definitely would not be able to fit in here when you're sitting on the toilet your knees almost hits the wall so it's really really tiny and narrow in here but you know you gotta live with what you have and uh, we can afford to live here oh, it's on the cheaper side so that's just great for us and here on the hallway again here we have a small wardrobe that was built into the apartment where we have jackets and a lot of different stuff and now we are going into the kitchen we just have this calendar over here i love animals so it's just nice to have a calendar with animals so now we're going into the kitchen and i would actually say we have a, a pretty big uh, kitchen sadly right now our oven doesn't work but you know it still works on top so we can still boil water and all that but just the oven itself doesn't work so that kind of sucks but we have a, a mini oven we use instead so yeah that's kind of what <laughs> makes up for the oven being broken so we still have some place to make food and this is just a freezer where we have just a lot of food in that's one of the ways we save money is with our freezer so yeah, and this is kind of the thing is called trolley, isn't it? 
but that's the one we use when we go out shopping because we don't have a car or anything so it is not heavy for us to have to carry everything because we normally shop for the whole week and we are two people and guinea pigs so it can become quite heavy at some times so yeah over there is my autumn painting I just simply love autumn and our basket for fruits and whatever and over here just have a postcard from Paris. I absolutely love Paris. I hope I can get the money to visit there one day again. But right now, money situ situation is pretty tight. I think it's tight in general for a lot of people. But it's just been tight for us for a long while, even before all these problems with everything costing more. So yeah, over here we have our mini oven and our microwave. And actually we have a lot of storage space in our kitchen but we use it all up I don't know I think this is like the area where we have the most stuff it's doesn't definitely kitchen it's just because a lot of stuff just makes life easier to have so this is just very right what we're gonna like eat every week and I'm the one who makes a meal plan and all that and down here we just have some sorting systems for trash because we have to sort trash into a lot of different systems so paper and one glass and another metal and plastic and hard plastic in another so that's just our sorting system but if we go out of the kitchen again we can go into our living room and as you can probably see right away i absolutely love plants um and over here we just have some decorations and a chair with some pillows. And down below here in the back, that's just stuff for Christmas gifts. We have already begun buying Christmas gifts, just simply because we do not have a lot of money. So buying anything in December would just be too expensive. Even though it's just one family that we're celebrating Christmas with, we're still like a lot of people there. I think we're like. All in all, with me, 10 people or something, so just it easily gets expensive. And then there's also a dog, and we always buy things for the dog because she's so sweet. Oh, my in laws' dog, we always buy gifts for her because she's so sweet. I've started decorating for autumn because we are in autumn right now in Denmark, and it's starting to get cold, but the leaves haven't started falling all that much yet. But I just, I love autumn. And up here we also have some decorations. As you can see, you really love flowers and nature and all that. And over here in the corner of our living room, we have our pets. So over here we have our Syrian hamster, Rudolf, he's an elderly hamster. And over here in this corner, we have our guinea pigs. So we have most of our stuff for the guinea pigs. Down here we just have a trash bag and the travel cages and the washing and all that. So yeah, this is kind of the space for our guinea pigs. Let's see if we can say hi to one of the piggies. So there's a pig in here. Oh, we can see both of the piggies actually. So that is Grizzling and Polar Bear or Ishbjorn. They're just so sweet. But yeah, those are my guinea pigs. And then up here we have another painting that my that is my boyfriend's. And if we just step a little back. So over here we also have some stuff. So this is just our sitting area. And we have my paintings. This is where I usually sit and film videos. And then we have our TV. It's actually a pretty big TV, but we got pretty cheap when the other one broke. And some boyfriend who wanted a big TV. I don't really care if it's big or not, as long as it works. And we just have some more stuff over here, some DVDs and all that. And fake plants. And over here we have a lot of the real plants. And again, some autumn decorations. But yeah, just in general, I really, really love plants. And over here we have my creative corner with stuff for painting and all that. And your printer and sewing machine we have over here. 
and over here it's just my boyfriend set up with his computers it's here that i also play sims so i've just put the chair in a bit so you can see that it's kind of a corner where over here i have my stuff where i sit with what i want to do so that's if we will go over there that's kind of my corner you can say we have over here so this is just my corner where i sit and then we can have some hay and some piggy stuff we actually have a lot of stuff for the piggies in our apartment and this one over here is also where we have pet stuff in so we just have a lot of stuff for our pets in the living room so if we go into the bedroom So yeah, again, this is okay size bedroom. And this is where I have my stuff that needs to be sold. Let's see if it gets sold, otherwise I will donate it. Most of the time things just do not get sold. So I just end up donating them. And over here I have kind of my fandom corner, if you can see. If you know, this is from Minim Yasha, I've painted that. And this over here is my tiny Totoro and if you can see it from the fake plant this says a Time Lord so it's Doctor Who and again <laughs> some flowery things because I just I love plants so actually this in here is what I'm proud of when it comes to decor in our home because I think it's really cozy what I've made here so I really like that so that's like the decor I really like my home and over here we have all washings and the clothes we can use again and some painting I've made and my boyfriend's skull yeah this is just our apartment as you can see the walls aren't straight and that's similar because we live right underneath the roof so yeah guys, that was just me quickly showing you our apartment and I hope you got something out of it. I hope you got something out of seeing a normal apartment and not just all these fancy apartments and these people who just have all these really nice homes where you do not feel like you can live up to them. So I just wanted to show you a uh, more <laughs> normal and down to earth kind of a home where it isn't about everything looking nice and fancy because we simply do not have that kind of money but yeah i really hope that you enjoyed this small video and if you did please remember to subscribe and like and all that your support means a lot to me and i hope to see you soon in another video bye guys